This is Head Bust Unboxing, and we are back in the house. And uh, it's been a good night of boxing. Um, we got to see Evander Holyfield's son step out there for the first time. He got a, a quick knockout. Ryan Garcia got a quick first round knockout as well. But uh, that's not who we're here to talk about. We are here to talk about Canelo Alvarez versus Sergey. I can't call him the crusher, Kovalev. Um, Sergey came out and he, he worked his jab. He was real timid with his punches. I did think he won the first two rounds and you can maybe even argue the third, but it was basically because Canelo was just filling him out and trying to see, uh, what he was working with for his power. And I think Sergey was trying to mask his power by throwing pity pat punches or pot shot or however you want to call it. Now... I would say after the third round, which the third round to me could have went either way, but after the third round, Canelo stepped it up and started getting a little closer. He started throwing his jab. He started landing body shots, and he started countering uh, Sergey instead of just shelling up and seeing what he got. Then after that, man, I mean, it was pretty much all Canelo. And the only rounds I gave Sergey, which were the eighth and ninth outside of the first two, well, the 8th and ninth, And that's because I believe Canelo took those two rounds off and then came out blazing in the uh, in the next couple rounds. And he, he stepped it up. You clearly saw Canelo jump out there and, and like went from, I don't know, third gear to, to fifth. Like he just skipped fourth gear and just went, and went straight into him. And Kovalev had a hard time we're dealing with Canelo Alvarez counter punching ability and Canelo just just counted him and counted him again and counted him some more and body shots and body shots then eventually he caught him with one of the sickest straight right right uh right hands you will ever see in your life <laughs> I mean like if you didn't see it because all I can do is provide clips I, I apologize but it'll just get taken down but that was one of the sickest right hands I've ever seen in a long time. And Kovalev, well, I mean, he set it up with a left hook. But that right hand to take him out was just was just destructive. And he crushed the crusher. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Um, they're still talking about they don't know what they're going to do. They, they believe they're going to go back down to 160. I mean, at this point, Canelo can do whatever he wants. He is the king of boxing. I mean, Deontay Wilder, some people say him, and Dog Cup Tyson Fury. Canelo's the king of boxing, as far as I'm concerned. He has multiple division titles. He's holding them at one time. Now, I do believe he'll wind up relinquishing some of that, but as of right now, he's a franchise champion, which I don't put that much stock in that either. But he probably has the best resume of boxing. I mean, it is what it is. He's the king of boxing. Now, Deontay Wilder's the king of knockouts, but he's the king of boxing. And that's pretty much all I got. Um, I hope you saw the fight. If you didn't, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Catch it on YouTube. Hopefully, you will catch it on the zone or uh, replay on YouTube or something. But I did want to put something out just to let people know what happened and maybe get a little feel of the fight. And that's pretty much all I got. This hair busting boxing fight doctor. Hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. This is hair busting boxing's own fight doctor. I am out.